Hi guys, welcome back for the mode to review. This time will be Wave 9, Mantana. Alright, this is the latest wave of Wave 9. This figure is quite popular, right? I think uh, a lot of people want to basically buy this. Alright, and this you have the 40th anniversary on top of the uh, box art right here. And a silver in color, you can't take it out. It's part of the box. Okay, and you have the Masters of the Universe. Red Rock coming out, Mantana Evil Spy with the pop-up eyes. Right, and it says eyes really pop out on the left, right here. And this is a totally new, us, uh, basically new Mantana figure. Because if you look at the old Mantana figure, it's basically, he it doesn't have four legs separately. It's actually two legs, but one leg. Uh, divided, uh, combined into one. Right, and here you have a look at Mantana slightly. Let's look at the back of the box. All right, the back of the box, you have the box art. Uh, the loyal spy of Horde uses his protruding eyes to fire electrical blast at his enemies. And basically, this is the... Uh, he does do that also in the in the show. All right, you can see some, some stickmen and... Uh, hold up in the background and uh, basically uh, nice uh, box art and Mantana basically blasting his enemies, the snake man. Right, and right here you see see some cross cell from his wave mates, uh, He-Man, Bicat and Skeletor. Right, and he shows you when you press down at the head at the back, uh, the eyes pop out. Okay, they keep stressing this uh, very uh, quite a lot in this uh, for this figure, right? Uh, let's try to get Mantana out, and we will see what's inside the figure. Hi right, guys, and here is Mantana out of the uh, kind of out of the packaging basically, and here you can you do see how uh, Mattel actually packages the his. Uh, uh, legs. So this was thought to be a uh, basically a uh, deluxe class figure. However, they managed to put him into the normal boxing. And at the back, you have his uh, crossbow that every board member has. Okay, this is how he was packaged in. So quite nice fit. You see at the back here at the sides. Okay, this is how the packaging is. Hi guys, here's Mantana out of the box, okay. But before we take a look closer look at him, let's take a look at his, his he comes with also a comic. Alright, so here's the comic, he comes with the same comic as the Hordes, uh, the Horrors of Pickhead, so the same as his uh, Pickhead itself. Alright, just to let you have a look at it. Okay, and that's all. In the back you have some cross cell. And here you have a guide on how the parts, uh, which part of the figure you can remove. So basically, oh, and that maintenance has a lot of parts which are removable. All right, and he also comes with a hot uh, crossbow. So uh, this, this uh, basically uh, dragon's uh, head. Okay, so to basically uh, use the uh, basically the crossbow, press here. And it will come out, right? Should have done this a bit better here, just like this way. Okay, it's made out of a soft plastic, right? Just like also the uh, uh, basically original figures that they have uh, way back in the day. Okay, all right. Okay, guys, and here you have a clear view of Mantana. So you can see some shadows in my background. So basically the sun is setting. So, uh, okay. So uh, let me turn him around. This is how he stands. So I would say this is a much more, uh, it's much more stabilized. It's a, it's a new figure. So Mattel must have actually spent a lot on him. So here's the back. Okay, this is a nice uh, representation of him. So a more ac more accurately rep represented. Okay, before we go any further, the bow fits on his hand, on his bracelet here. On his hand this way. I put it in. in. Okay, it holds proper. 
Okay, let me take this out. Okay, let's take a look more on Mantena's head. All right, he has a two eyes that can pop out. All right, they have a basically a uh, nice uh, pink, uh, basically a nice uh, deco on his eyes. And no pink scheme. There's no blemishes on mine, especially his mouth. Looks like a quite a uh, large squid's mouth and basically a uh, vacuum. And his uh, teeth, basically his tooth, are protruding out just like this. And this looks like flippers, but it's not, uh, there's no, rot it's not able to uh, rotate, it's just fixed in its place. So in the back, you do see his liver for his head. Okay, so I do see some pain blemishes on his shell. For example, uh, I think he's a crustacean. So you do see the shell, uh, there's a bit of a, uh, pain blemish at the back so unfortunately however if you look at Mantena all right uh, this liver is a bit too big however I would say that it, even in the future if Mattel could actually reduce the size a bit or by half of this or this length it will basically uh, look much more better when you pop his eyes this way yep he, uh, his eyes do pop out and work uh, uh, wonderfully, there's no uh, basically it's not jammed, right? When you pull this, it, that's it's not stuck. But in the old figure, if you pull this lever down, it will stay, and his eyes would be able to pop out. All right, I guess they've removed that. His head is rotatable. Okay, and for his chest, you do see that this is a cordex symbol uh, on his body. Okay, and his armor. Uh, right in the day, it's basically brighter uh, colors on this part. All right, and his belt is now uh, basically yellow. Okay, he has a waist articulation. Right, and if you do refer to the parts removable, you can remove his head, his hands, his waist, and all his legs, and also his lower feet. Okay, and uh, here's the back of... Uh, Mantana itself is nicely done. All right, for his hands, you can rotate full 360. You can bend it at the elbow. Okay, and the wrist does rotate. And it's uh, basically his hands are basically blue and also a darker uh, and also black. So it's a black, uh, kind of a black, uh, darker tone to it. And for his uh, feet, okay, if you do look at it, you do see some uh, things kind of a uh, Popping out, so it's kind of a crustacean, uh, crab-like character. So, uh, so you do have this kind of uh, things, and unfortunately, that I've discovered the knee. They, it doesn't. I mean, if uh, yep, yeah, it does bend a bit. However, you can rotate this part, and also rotate the. You can also rotate at the boot, and you do see some hard uh bat symbols here, and you can. Basically, I uh, have also uh, ankle uh, rocker joints. Okay, this is uh, his for all of his feet uh, that I show you. All right, it does also pop out, but I don't want to do that on my figure. But uh, you you can do that. And here's the back of antenna again. Okay, so it's basically a uh, new. Uh, basically new figures. It's not a retooled figure. I would say he is among the best of his wave. The best figure. Alright, and I'll just... Uh, yep. He is quite a uh, nice outlook for him. And you have, if you do look at his legs, you do have fins uh, coming out of his uh, basically upper part of the leg. And also you have also fins on at the back. Uh, sorry, not the back, at the lower part of the uh, leg. On all four legs. Okay, the, the boot is painted uh, richly uh, black in color with all four hot uh, symbols on the lower feet. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I think this is all four. And also, if you do see the imprint at the back, it's made from, and it's made in China, and it's made in 2021. Alright, I'm just going to fit the weapon back, and I think this is overall the 
a review for Man Mantana. I would say, uh, if you guys want him, go get him. He is a much sought after figure, so it's he is essential part of the horde. However, this figure, it I would say, it was the most, uh, I mean, enjoyable experience I've had since, uh, basically, uh, have I mean, uh, having uh, besides. Uh, uh, basically, horde. I mean, uh, it's if you, you if you do compare, I do not have the old figure to compare it with for this new one. However, it is a must get. So if you do see him in the wall, you can pre-order him on uh, online. Do get him. All right. This is Cool Ball Star today. Signing off, and I'll be back with more reviews for the Wave Nine figures like He Man, the two thousand X and Skeletor 2000 X series that are uh, inspired figures. Right? If you do like the review, click on the subscribe button below here and click on subscribe. This will help me uh, tremendously and I appreciate it a lot. Thank you. Have a nice day.